Hi, welcome back everyone. Today we're doing a bit of a midweek video and we're going to cover a sides. Today we're going to learn how the French prepare rice. It's an interesting question to answer actually. Yes, you know that uh, rice is mostly Asian, but in France we do make some rice as well. And when, when you're at school, actually in a French culinary school, the first rice you learn to make is actually a pilaf rice or pilo rice, as you must already all know it's very very common but it's actually not a French recipe it's a Middle Eastern uh, recipe that we're gonna make today uh, but this is from our book and this is what we've got to learn so what do we need we're using 200 grams of rice 300 grams of water 75 grams of finely chopped onions 40 grams of butter salt and pepper a nice bouquet garni, not homemade but in a paper diffuser that I prefer using when I'm making this type of dishes. And because I'm going to make a yellow pilaf today, I'm using one teaspoon of curry powder mixed with one teaspoon of turmeric. And of course we've got the usual stock pot. Now let's get started and see how we make a nice pilaf rice. Okay, let's make this pilaf rice. So first off, the water that I had, I put it in a pan here and I'm bringing it to the boil and you keep it warm for later. Under my pan, I've got a low heat, okay? Don't go uh, too high, we really just a low heat because we're gonna be melting the butter. First step, you take all your 40 grams of butter, boom, in there. You're gonna let it melt slowly and then we're gonna add the onions. So be patient, let it melt. And when it's done, we put the onion. When the butter is all melted like this, you take all of your onions at once, put them in. Mix the whole lot. And we're gonna let again these onions cook on a very low heat because we don't want any coloration. So that may take three or four minutes until the onion are nice and translucid. Now, when your onions are a bit translucent like this and then nicely cooked, it is time to pour in your unwashed rice, okay? This is very, very important. The rice has to be unwashed. You don't wash it, you don't rinse it. Now, you can take your spoon and we're gonna just stir gently the rice I try to do it with my other hand from the camera, otherwise it's always in front. And you're gonna coat the rice like this in the oil and let it kind of, it's not really cooking, but you're gonna let it sit in there until the grain starts to be again also a bit translucent. So just one or two minutes, let it sit in the heat like this while stirring. Eh? So you keep on stirring and make sure it's all coated with the onions and the butter. You're now ready to add your water. So the water has been boiled, it has to be really hot. Pour it all in. Once the water is in, you can stir everything and it's time to add salt and pepper and my mix of spices. I'm going to mix everything and I'm going to put my heat a little bit higher, slightly, and I'm going to wait until that mix almost boil. It must not really start to boil. So as soon as you see the slightest bubbles like this, you see, it means already it's right temperature. That's what you want. I'm turning my heat off from here. The next part of the recipe happens in the oven. I forget to mention, but preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 420 or 410 Fahrenheit. When you've mixed everything, you take one of those lovely circles, I've got a video on that, and we're just gonna try to put it on top of the rice like this. I take my lid and I'm gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, guys, this is the moment 20 minutes have passed. I've taken my pan out of the oven and there's the big reveal. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. It looks all right. Let me try to remove 
uh, little paper here. And yeah, like I mentioned in the video, <laughs> I forget to say about the book again, I've put it afterwards, but I'm going to discard it as well. A bit untidy here. And look what we have. This is how pillar fries. The last step is to remove the grains. Now look at that. It's not bad. I actually never made that one before, the yellow, the yellow version, but it seems to work pretty well. Uh, so what you do basically, you can mix your rice like this, make sure it's, uh, so it doesn't stick together so that all the grains are uh, nicely individual, and then we're going to just serve it up. Right, so how do we present a rice? How do we really make it look better? Because at the end of the day, it's just a rice. So what I've done, little container, a bit of a trick here, looks good on camera because you're not going to do this too much with a rice, but well, I've got this, I put the spoon first or the spatula, whatever you call it, I'm just going to pour some rice over. Okay, when that's done, there's not much you can do. I'm going to use a bit of uh, coriander, always my little, because if, you know, if it's a bit Asian, you think, oh, you know, a little bit of Asian food, something like that. So, you know, be very careful, try to put bits and pieces, and as you can see, I'm correct, correcting a bit the look bit by bit, try to look at the aesthetic of things and find the right touch to make it look presentable. Okay, so I'm not an expert at this. And I'm gonna finish with just this um, dry shallots. You know, you find this in these uh, Asian shops, just because it's a bit, makes you think of Indonesia, Asia, Southeast Asia, you think, oh yes, yeah, so I'm gonna serve a rice, and that's it. Simple. That's my pilaf rice, the yellow pilaf rice. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, please comment, share with your friends and come back to me for more French cooking video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.